What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So recently Apple released iOS 18.2 alongside macOS 15.2 and other updates of course. And those updates contain a bunch of new features and changes. But after the fact, we've discovered some further changes that we'll be sharing with you in this video. Since I'm mainly going to be focusing on macOS 15.2 Sequoia, this update actually got release candidate version number one and RC number two. I was on the RC number two when I released my initial video covering most of the new features and changes. But you can see even for users that are on the release candidate number two, like myself, we do have a new update here, which is macOS. 15.2 with a fairly small update size which is 1.48 gigs i'm quickly going to update my device right now just to show you the current build number that i have before i update to this you can see it's 24c 100 and apple intelligence is taking up 5.5 gigs after updating you can see the new build number that i have right here and mac os is taking 23.1 gigs and apple intelligence is still at 5.5 gigs and the build number is 24c 100 or one it just incremented by a one after the release of this update you can see apple recently updated some of their iWork applications so keynote received an update numbers as well as pages and i'll quickly update these and you can see mainly the updates that all these get have to do with apple intelligence implementation so i've updated all this to the latest versions and if we open for example pages which is mainly meant for taking notes you can see we have a new splash screen that tells us about apple intelligence writing tools image playground and you have ask siri to provide insight using chat gpt that allows you to be able to use the integration capabilities which is something that's great and if you open keynote as well there's also a new pop-up screen similar to that of the pages tells you the same apple intelligence implementation to demonstrate apple intelligence and writing tools you can see i quickly just uh, opened up pages just to show you how it looks it's pretty similar to the notes application where they implement implemented apple intelligence and writing tools so if you want to use some sort of writing tools you can click there and you you notice how this will open up similar to the notes app if i select this text and then right click as well i have the ability to use writing tools and say show writing tools i can say describe a change for example add emphasis on ambition i click enter you notice it's taking effect right there Give it a few seconds you see what it has generated and if i want i can replace what was existing with this one which is something that's good apple made a mistake with the release of mac os sequoia 15.2 by releasing the software update for two unreleased macs and you can see those macbooks are actually described here so that is the macbook a 13 inch with m4 supposed to be released in 2025 alongside the macbook a 15 inch with m4 chip as well to be released in 2025 so this is not the first time this kind of mistake has happened it does give us a hint that next year we're going to be getting new macbook s with m4 chips if you have the new airpods pro 2 i'll be happy to let you know that yes alongside ios 18.2 and mac os 15.2 the airpods get enhancements features that allow you to be able to improve your health and among those is the hearing aid and hearing loss test for airpods pro now that is a feature that helps adults to identify whether they have hearing loss by measuring their ability to hear different frequencies of sound on mac os 15.2 and ios 18.2 this hearing aid and hearing loss test feature is now expanded to france italy luxembourg romania spain cyprus and the uk as well as the united arab emirates and in canada this feature was recently approved for launch which means with the next updates and a Alongside the latest AirPods updates, we might be getting this in some provinces to begin with in Canada. Speaking of AirPods, Apple also recently released the first firmware update for the Beats PO as well. So if you have that type of hardware, you can update your firmware for those devices as well. If you like gaming on the Mac or iPad as well as your iPhone, I'll be happy to let you know that this new game has recently just been provided and it jumped to number one on the action chart. This is Resident Evil 2. So now you you can actually buy it and begin playing with it and i think they actually have a sale right now that's ongoing until january on the apple developer page right here you can see when it comes to watchOS 11.2 they actually made a mistake when it comes to the release notes and if i go into the release notes for watchOS 11.2 yes this update came out alongside mac os 
15.2 and iOS 18.2, but you can see here, they also accidentally released watchOS 11.3 beta that by the way, hasn't yet been released yet, but as you can see here, it doesn't really say, it says that there are no new release notes for this update. So it's not like they released a bunch of things or give us foresight, but it's crazy to see that watchOS 11.3 is showing under the release notes tab before the update itself is available. You've probably been seeing this pop-up icon on my desktop. It says the music volume is currently turned all the way down. It was actually jumping up and down to get my attention, but my volume is actually not turned all the way down. It's about, you know, 50% there, but it's one of the pop-up screen that keeps coming up whenever I open and close the music application seems to be a bug. And when I even have my AirPods Pro connected to my Mac, it also pops up. You can see it came up again on my secondary monitor. But speaking of the Apple Music app, if you go under the radio section, you can see under this live radio, Apple has added three um, non-stop music stations, which are the Musica Uno, Club, and Chill. So these will go on and on 24 seven, and you can listen live if these are what you like. If you are into the Apple HomePod alongside the Apple TV, I would be happy to let you know that according to recent report from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is working on a redesigned Bluetooth and Wi-Fi chips. And Mark Gurman says that this chip will be introduced in a new Apple TV and HomePod HomePod mini that are scheduled for 2025. So if you're looking for the newest version of the HomePods and why is a new version of the Apple TV, then we might actually be getting those ones as soon as 2025. If you use Apple Pay on your iPhone and on your Mac, I'll be happy to let you know that Apple recently actually made Apple Pay available in Mongolia. So now you can go into your settings and go to your wallet and Apple Pay and set it up if you are in Mongolia as well. In Find My, Apple recently added the ability for users to share item location in order to get help by finding your lost air tags or tags by sharing its location with airlines or a trusted person. And since Apple released iOS 18.2 and the corresponding Mac OS and iPad OS versions, United Airlines is already on board supporting this feature and more airlines are expected to be joining soon. If you're curious about Apple security releases for these versions, such as iOS and iPadOS 18.2 and macOS Sequoia 15.2, the Apple security page has recently been updated with a bunch of security patches for these updates. You can see some have to do with Apple software restore. We have open graphics control, Apple mobile file integrity. We have audio uh, patches as well. And these are CVE entries as well. So these are common vulnerabilities and exposures. Some have to do with disk utility, foundation, image IO, kernel, which is a pretty serious one right there. And the list goes on and on. And this is a publicly available page. If you want to see what it is that Apple patched and you know, get a sense of what security patches have been resolved with this update, then you can check this page out. I'll actually leave this page that brings you to this homepage in the description of this video, and you can read the security patches for the related software update that you want to look into. When it comes to performance for this update, macOS Sequoia 15.2, it's been fairly constant. I can't really complain when it comes to the things that I'm able to do on the Mac and the newly added features. I do feel like Apple intelligence can be polished further, but when it comes to the battery life, I actually haven't been getting like great battery life. You can sort of get to see how much I've been using my device right here. So here I used about maybe let's see 20 to 30 ish percent with very little usage right there battery. I'm not fully happy with the performance that I'm getting, but at the same time, this is an M1 Pro MacBook Pro, and you can see my maximum health capacity is on 86%. In terms of when we could get macOS Sequoia 15.3, the first beta, we could see it as early as next week, Monday, December the 16th, or between the window of the 16th and the 19th, as Apple usually releases updates within these days. And then after that, Apple usually takes the last two weeks of December. So the week of December 22nd and December 29th, we don't expect to see any updates. So it's going to be a long stretch, about two and a half weeks, sometimes three weeks, 
if you do update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.3, the first beta, you'll be on that beta for quite some time without getting a second beta. So if there are issues, then you are probably going to be stuck with those for a while. And if you wanna unroll or make sure you don't get the next beta update available then you can always go into your beta updates right here and then turn off the beta update page and just say off like this by turning this setting off when a new beta version is released you won't get a pop-up screen that tells you to update your device to the latest version right now or overnight because you would have turned off the beta updates profile or beta updates within your system preferences and so that would mean that you would have to manually update your device if you want to try out the beta and you figure out what you want to do so other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this update mac OS sequoia 15.2 let me know what you think about this video if you liked it leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video